Hi everyone, this is Mary Pratt, the Chemistry Guru. Now, in today's video, we want to discuss the suggested solution for 2021 A-Levels H2 Chemistry, Paper 1, Question 10. Now, Question 10, which contains the greatest number of molecules? So we do need to refer to the data booklet so that we can work out the molar masses for some of these species. And involving option A, 2.00 gram of ethyl methanoate, Option B, 4.00 gram of liquid bromine. Option C, 550 cm cube of hydrogen measured at room temperature and pressure. Option D, 1.55 times 10 to the power of 22 molecules of water. Now, the topic tested in this exercise obviously is under more concept. And actually, what we just need to do is we just need to calculate the number of moles for each of these options then we will be able to determine which one of them will have the greatest number of molecules. We don't really need to calculate the number of molecules for all our options because if you have greater number of molecules, then naturally we will have greater number of moles. And we are more familiar with calculating number of moles and it is a lot more straightforward. So what we do is we try to calculate the number of moles for each of these options, the one with the greatest number of moles, naturally will have greatest number of molecules. So we can do by calculating number of moles instead. So let's run through option A, 2.00 gram of ethyl methanoate. So we do need to be able to draw out this ester, ethyl methanoate. The acid portion will be methanoic acid, one carbon acid, and the alcohol portion will be your ethyl group. So basically this is the structure for your ester, ethyl methanoate. The Molecular formula for ethyl methanoate will be C3H6O2. So we can work out the molar mass for your ethyl methanoate. This will work out to be 74.0. Right? So once we have the molar mass, I can determine the number of mole for A, which is my 2.00 gram of ethyl methanoate. The number of moles will be mass in gram over molar mass, 2.00 divided by 74.0. The number of mole for option A will be 2.70 times 10 to the power of minus 2. Now option B, 4.00 gram of liquid bromine. Now liquid bromine, this is a Br2 molecule. Molar mass, we can work this out, 159.8. So the number of mole for option B will be same thing, mass in gram over molar mass, 4.00 divided by 159.8. I'll get 2.50 times 10 to the power of minus 2. So this is the number of moles for option B. Next option C, 550 cm cube of hydrogen measured at RTP. Now we do know that the molar volume is 24.0 dm cube. Molar volume, it is the volume of one mole of any gas measured at room temperature and pressure. So given the volume 550 cm cube of hydrogen, we will be able to work out the number of mole of that volume of hydrogen at the condition. So number of mole for option C will be the volume 550, but we do have to convert it to dm cube. So 550 times 10 to the power of minus 3, convert 550 cm cube to dm cube over 24.0, which is the molar volume of your gas at room temperature and pressure. So the number of mole will work out to be 2.29 times 10 to the power of minus 2. Finally, involving option D. Now option D, 1.55 times 10 to the power of 22 molecules of water. What we are doing is we are converting this to number of mole. Again, you notice for option A, B, C, it is easier for us to just determine the number of mole. Then for option D, we also convert the number of molecules to number of mole. Because if we compare quantity based on number of mole, it is a lot more common and it's a lot more straightforward. So what I do is I convert this quantity of water to number of moles. Number of mole for option D will be 1.55 times 10 to the power of 22 over Avogadro constant, which is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. So this will work out to be 2.57 times 10 to the power of minus 2. So we have actually effectively calculated all this number of moles. Then we can do the comparison and we can compare which has the greatest number of molecules which also means that yes, the greatest number of moles. So option A, the number of moles is 2.70 times 10 to the power of minus 2. Option B, 
2.50 times 10 to the power of minus 2. Option C, 2.29 times 10 to the power of minus 2. Option D, 2.57 times 10 to the power of minus 2. So the options and the answers are very, very close. But of course, they are significantly different. And in this case, option A will be the one that contains the greatest number of molecules. All right, so that was the discussion for this question. This question actually is pretty straightforward. It's just a little bit tedious because for each of these options, we do need to do a little bit of calculation. So if the question is tedious, sometimes it can be a bit time consuming. So do look out for questions like this that can eat up time for paper one. Of course, we know that for paper one, time is of essence and the amount of time allocated for MCQ is actually very, very tight. So we do need to be familiar with very straightforward calculations like this so that when we encounter tedious questions like this, it doesn't take up too much time. All right, so if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.